I woke up on the morning after with just a massive headache around my eye and I was unable to see out of my left eye. The hardest part was probably not knowing what was going on. It was a pretty significant eye doctor saying that it was, you know, like getting struck by lightning. They hadn't seen, they were really searching for uh, a solution. Like what was it and how do we make this better? Midway through the 2015 men's volleyball season, Hendrick Mole's perspective on life would forever be changed. His left eye suffered an aggressive bacteria infection that doctors believe was linked to the use of his contact lens. I, I was out for a couple of months and I didn't do anything. It was I was sick, I was in a lot of pain, I took medications daily, a ton of eye drops, and um, I hadn't moved myself out of the bed for like two months. Hendrick was flown up to the UCLA Medical Center to receive specialized aid. After months of treatment, thousands of eye drops, and numerous doctor's appointments, Mole regained 5 to 10 percent of his peripheral vision. Doctors presented the option of a corneal transplant that might help to bring his vision back, but it would also mean eliminating any physical activity that could impact his eye. He and I had conversations over the summer about the, the distinct possibility that he would have to medically retire, that if they were gonna have a surgical procedure, the corneal transplant, that he would, he would never get cleared for full participation again. Mole ultimately decided against the surgery, and once cleared to play, he recommitted himself to the sport he loved. So I had to spend the summer kind of relearning the game uh, with one eye. Um, and it was hard. Uh, I did it with beach volleyball. Playing with one eye is, is difficult because for volleyball, you, you really do require a lot of depth perception. After the summer, Mole returned to UH where the effects of his injuries manifested in other areas. He was forced to change his major due to the amount of class time he missed because of the injury. He would also have to learn a new position on the volleyball court. Middle blocker, you only, you only need to, to hit and to block and to serve. You don't have to do much else. So that was, the, that was kind of a natural transition to make uh, at this point. Well, certainly, uh, you know, proud of how he's embraced the opportunity and really looking at it as that. You're a volleyball player. That's one thing we preach all the time. So uh, it's been fun to see him uh, improve. It's a, it is a challenge, but it's, it's a challenge that I'm, that I'm willing to take.